What's up squad? Back at y'all with another video. This is a part of me that y'all didn't know about. This is my studio that I've had uh, since 2000 and no, excuse me, since 1998, like mid-98, 99. Uh, this, this studio, this setup is 20 years old at least. Um, I've been in I've been in the music game a long time, but uh, being a truck driver and having a regular life and all that, this can be very very demanding. I had ten straight years where I just made this studio work, and we were recording. I had a little bit of everybody come to my studio. Barrier rappers, uh, the own my own camp, the rappers that I had in my own camp, uh, singers. Um, just when you're in this game and you're running in circles, you rub elbows with a lot of people. Um, so anyway, I wanted to give you guys an idea of what it takes to uh, make a song for you to listen to. It's not as simple as um, just cut on the mic and, and jump on. I was watching TV the other day and you have people in the booth that are singing a hook and rapping the verse and they're all in the booth at the same time and that's not how it works it, it, it don't work that way but uh I, I you know I, I can't say I guess you could turn the inputs down and, and all that but that that's normally tracks are built one at a time okay so you record a track you you go back you record another track you go back you record ad libs you go back you and that's that's how it's done and then when the finished project you know when it's done then you play everything all back together and then you have a completed song so uh your your um you have you have pre-production and post-production uh pre-production is all the stuff that you're laying down so you, you you put the music up you put somebody in the booth you record a track um and you do all of that track by track until the, until the song is done and just so y'all know Y'all are hearing me through this mic. So I got you guys piped into my headphones, okay? Um, whenever a studio releases music, you're you're usually not going to hear what they hear. So if you really want to hear what they hear, you have to get you a good set of headphones. And I ain't talking about those earbuds and, 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 and Beats by Dre and all that. that that's not the same. I'm not saying those headphones are not good, but trust me, when we're in the studio recording, we're not using stuff like Beats by Dre and and all these different name brand headphones that they got people running out spending three and four hundred dollars for a pair of headphones. So this is one of my set of headphones. This is some that I bought just a few years ago because I like good headphones. See that? See, that says professional. So when I buy headphones, I buy good ones. So these are the Sony MD MDR 7506s. Um, a very good pair of headphones, by far not the very, very best. Um, these headphones here, now these are like dynamic. So these are my uh, Sony uh, MDR V6s. These are the headphones that I've had since I opened my studio. So this, these headphones are 20, 21 years old. Okay, um, as you can see by the ear cups, see how see how worn they are. These have had a lot. These have been on a lot of heads. Oh, these have been on a lot of heads. And all I would have to do is just change out the ear cups. But they're so broken in and so comfortable, they're so plush to wear that I don't even want a new set of uh, air, air things, at least not now. Now, once they start ripping and tearing, then yeah, but they, that's just a little surface, little stuff that's kind of cracked around the edges. But these are really, really soft. And when you have to have headphones on your head for a long period of time, you want something that's comfortable. So I got those on my keyboard because I like to give them a rest because those are like grandfather headphones, okay? So anyway, uh, just giving you guys a little bit, of, little bit of background. But yeah, if you really want to hear music the way it was intended to be listened to, 
grab yourself a really good pair of headphones and you'll hear all the little nuances and the bouncing left and right and stuff in the background and, and all that. That's really how we intend for you to hear the music because that's what we're hearing. These speakers are Mackie uh, HR 824s. Um, as I said, they're, they're, they're 20 plus years old. And when I say they sound really, really good, they really do. So those can fool you because they'll make a subpar recording sound like it's just slapping. I mean, like slapping, slapping. So uh, you, if you try to mix through those, listening to what those sound like, your mix is probably going to fall short. Excuse me. Because both of these speakers have their own uh, amp on the back of them. And they're studio monitors. They're made to sound good. So uh, it'll pump up the volume on pretty much anything you play through them. So I always pipe in a good set of headphones. Whenever I'm mixing, I throw the headphones on. I'll cut the monitors completely off. And um, and uh, and then that way, you know, I can I can actually hear what I want you to hear. So. Uh, let me get into it a little bit. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to solo out a few of these tracks so you can hear. Okay, so what I'm doing is, whenever you solo a track, you, you're, you're soloing everything else out, okay? So uh, I, this is actually my second take because when I went to listen back to what I recorded the first time, part of what you were hearing, you couldn't hear me because once I soloed the track, it cut off my mic and everything because solo means just that, that one. So I just soloed out my microphone and the one track that I want you guys to hear for right now so what I'm gonna do this song is called uh, bumping your guns and it was recorded in June of 2003 so this this is going on this is a 16 year old song going on 17 years old okay so it was recorded way back then so my skill level with recording the content that just the whole way this song was laid down was laid down all the way back in 2003 we have come a long way since then I'm not saying that because I'm saying that to give you a little history okay um, so I just want you guys to hear what it takes so I'm gonna play one track and my first two tracks up here, each one of these lines is a recording. Whether it be music or voice or just whatever it is, each one of these lines uh, is a recording. And, and it plays individually. And I'm going to give you an idea of how it does. So my first two tracks is always my music track. In, these stu in this studio now, you know, some people will do 23 and 24. Some people have different studios and different setups and they do things differently. But in here, um, my first two tracks is always my music tracks. I can just use one track, but two tracks always sound better. And let me show you why. Okay, so here's one track of the music. That's, that's one track music. Now I'm going to give you both tracks of the music and then you'll understand why I use two tracks for music. So, 
Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna mute out the, the music tracks and I'm gonna play you the intro. There's two guys on this song. Uh, one is one one of his one of the names is Saucy, and one of the names is Bagsby. Um, these are these are like some of my beginning artists, the artists that I brought in when I first opened the studio, and we actually when I tore these things out of the plastic and out of the boxes and start setting stuff up. Um, they were the ones that were with me when I was learning. I actually learned how to record and mix and do all of that stuff in manuals. I didn't have, I didn't take no classes. I didn't have some instructor. I didn't get online. I didn't, hell, YouTube wasn't even cracking like that. And um, so uh, I learned from the manuals that came with these boards. So from recording to mixing to uh, patching and, and, and dropping and dropping verses in place and doing all I learned all of that through the manual so it was a long process but we got through it all right so now I'm gonna take out the music tracks and I'm gonna play you uh, the, the the first intro track just by itself this yeah. is sauce <laughs> they just bumping they just bumping yeah, they just bumping, they just bumping. <laughs> they just bumping, they gone. Yeah, they just bumping, they just bumping. What? <laughs> they just bumping, they gone. Yeah, they just bumping, they just bumping. What? They just, they just bumping, they gone. Okay, so now I'm gonna turn that track off, and I'm gonna turn on the uh, track. So that was saucy. Now the this next track is is Bagsby. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. They just bumping, they just bumping. They just bumping, they comes. They just bumping. They just bumping, they just woof tickets. Okay. So now I'm going to play them two together without the music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they just bumping, they yes, just bumping. Yeah, they just bumping, they just bumping. They just bumping, they gums. Yeah, they just bumping, they just bumping. What? <laughs> they just bumping, they gums. Woof tickets. Yeah, they just bumping, they just bumping. What? They just, they just bumping, they gums. Okay, so that's just the intro. That's just they felt like they wanted to say some stuff before the hook came on and. That's what they came up with, and that's what we stuck with. And uh, so now I'm gonna play those two tracks with the music. So you have a you have a, a small idea of what it takes to build a song, okay? So just imagine the same way that I played the song first, then I went back and then I played the one track and then I went back and then I played the other track and then I went back and I played both tracks together, then I went back and I played them with the music. Okay? This is what's going on all the way through the song. Okay? So it's 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 by the time we're done recording a song like a complete song we have heard this song probably 80 times like literally it can take that long sometimes you're on and you can knock out a verse and get it done boom 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 you're out but remember none of us have recorded before okay so you didn't have a seasoned rapper like Tupac who can come in and drop a whole album in one day no, we were beginners. We didn't even know how to use the boards. I had no idea how to blend tracks together or pan left and right or add effects or I, we knew nothing. We were just some dudes that were friends and we just started recording and started learning and that's kind of where we were. 
So imagine how long it was taking to record and finish one song. We were having fun though, drinking Hennessy and and just and and E and J and and, and and these dudes. I'm a truck driver, so I couldn't smoke weed, but they were blowing weed. They were doing everything. They couldn't do it in my house because I had a kid and I didn't smoke, so they had to go to the backyard. And uh, but yeah, they all of that was taking place. And when I say through the years, I'm talking about you know these dudes be cheating on their girlfriends, and I mean just. You, you can't imagine the, the stories that we have uh, recording music and dealing with guys with their personal lives and the girlfriends coming by honking and speeding and arguing and doing all that and these dudes eating up all my food and arguing about how many people is in the house at, at, at night and in the morning and all. Whew, boy, let me tell you something. Having a studio in your home is it, not easy. You have to have, be really patient with all of the stuff that you go through. So anyway, let's jump back into it. I want to solo out the uh, the hook tracks, so uh, that way you can kind of get another idea. And I know I'm kind of stretching this out a little bit, but I just want y'all to get an idea. So here's the hook tracks by themselves. So this is saucy. When it comes down to it, we already know an outcome. Whether it be click for click, watch pros get it done, let a pro get it done. They just bumping their guns. I said them bitches, they run. A one on one, watch pros get it done, let a pro get it done. Okay, now I'm gonna go back. And I'm going to play bags before you. They just pumping their gums. Them bitches, they run. A one on one. Let a pro get it done. When it comes down to it, we already know the outcome. Rather it be click for click. Watch pros get it done. Let a pro get it done. Okay. Now I'll play them together. No music. When it comes down to it, they just bumping their gums. We already know the outcome. The bitches they run. Whether it be click for click or one on one. Watch pros get it done. Let a pro get it done. When it comes down to it, they just bumping their gums. We already know the outcome. Them bitches they run. Whether it be click for click or one on one. Watch pros get it done. Let a pro get it done. Okay. So. Now you, you get, you're starting to get an idea of how you're building tracks. Now, I didn't solo out each track and let you hear them one by one. I just, I played two tracks from Saucy and two tracks from Bagsby and then I played four tracks together. Okay, so that's, that's us going back and forth and back and forth and recording each track. So now you have an idea of what it's like to build a song track by track, one at a time, so when you're listening to a song, trust me, there are a lot of tracks playing individually, but they're just playing all together with the music. So if, when you're listening to the, uh, the hook, so let me just go back to this and let y'all let y'all kind of point your attention. There are mistakes in these tracks. Um, uh, I, I, I really won't call them mistakes. It's just part of what it is to build a song. Like um, when you say, when you say, let a pro, pro, let a pro get it done, let a pro get it done. You'll hear uh, different. You'll hear when they're off a little bit, where they're they're recording a track and it may not come in exactly when it. You know, they might be a little bit lagging behind. So just listen to the different stuff that's in this recording that you normally wouldn't hear. So just listen to all, try to catch all the mistakes that you can hear. 
when it comes down to it. They just bumping their gums. We already know the outcome. The bitches they run. Whether it be click for click or one on one. Watch pros get it done. Let a pro get it done. When it comes down to it, they just bumping their gums. We already know the outcome. I them bitches they run. Whether it be click for click or one on one. Watch pros get it done. Let a pro get it done. Okay. So, I don't know about y'all, but I heard like three or four or maybe even five different areas that, that could be fixed. Uh, and if I wanted to be anal about it, I could have had them go back and record that all over again. Da 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 da. But I didn't. Because let me show you what happens when the music is played over it. So now, I'm going to play the entire song so you can hear everything. Okay. Speaking on Cali finances is a sure way to fall. 
all I'm laughing at you one and one Cause we in it for the long haul These professional dudes about to make global moves As we changing up the game We leaders, man, making our own Keeping ass, taking no names, no prisoners We only get one chance to violate before we finish it So keep it closed, at least make sure it don't get back to me Or else you can put my fucking flow Cause it's gonna be tragedy that song okay so there was a lot of going back and forth there was a lot of mistakes there was a lot of going back and cutting out and editing and doing all kind of stuff so uh, what I did was uh, right from the beginning I have the ability with these boards to um, if you make a mistake during your recording uh, I can go back I can roll the wheel back like this right to where your mistake was because you made a mistake, I can cut it out, and then I can record you right from where that mistake was. Um, I didn't make a habit of doing that. Actually, I very rarely did that. And the reason why is because I was always looking forward as far as um, performances. So if you're gonna be up on a stage live performing, guess what? There's no go backs. You don't get to go back. You don't get to make a mistake and go back and fix it no you're 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 performing in front of people if you make a mistake they heard it there's no erasing that so what i did with with the artist that came to my studio if you make a mistake during your verse we go all the way back to the beginning of that, re, of that verse and we relay it again and we keep re we keep relaying it until you get it right all the way through with no mistakes that's how we did it that's how i did it and it does two things. It, it increases the quality of your recording because you don't have a whole bunch of, um, you don't get a bunch of, of, of patches. And when, when you're recording, when you're the one sitting here all day listening to that, you can hear that. You can hear those patches. You can hear where the, the background noise may have changed or um, the, the mood is not exactly what it was when you were laying it the first time. Your tone may change a little bit. And we can hear that. Now, you as a listener, you may not catch a lot of those nuances, but somewhere in the back of your head, you, you, you can hear changes. You're just not paying attention to them. But have you ever listened to a song like, say, on a subpar system, like somebody's car that, you know, maybe maybe the left speaker is not working or the right speaker is not working or it just it's, don't have an amp on it or just whatever. And then you hear that same song in a set of headphones and all of a sudden you can hear so much more than what you were listening to it on a subpar system. Okay. Um, that was the way that the music was intended for you to hear. When, when I'm mixing down, when I'm recording, I'm listening to everything hear so I can hear the nuances I can hear the different things I can hear phones ringing in the background I can hear dogs barking in the background I can hear cars going by outside I can hear if somebody's having an argument or something the mics that we use uh, to to record are super duper sensitive um, matter of fact I'll show you all my mic and this one is 20 plus years old okay 
I don't want to move the camera, so I'll bring the mic to you. This is this is uh, my this is an AKG C three thousand B. See that? Can you see that? AKG C three thousand B. This is a super sensitive, really good recording microphone. Like this is an excellent, excellent microphone. Um, this was my first microphone, actually, because I've had others, but this is the one that I actually kept. Um, Newman mics are really top quality. They cost a lot, but um, like I would, I, even now, I would buy, I would buy a 20-year-old Newman mic. I would buy another AKG. It doesn't make no difference if it's 20 years old, as long as it brings that recording to you, and it's nice and clear. You won't be mad. But this is a really good microphone. So that's what we use to record. And if if you're not if if your if your sound is uh, if if the place that you're recording has other sounds going on, phones ringing, people whispering, uh, an argument outside, a car passing by, dogs barking, whatever, and you're not soundproofed out, you don't have stuff on the walls. Like I couldn't record right here right now because it. Number one sounds too hollow, and number two, um, it's not sh the, the 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 mic wouldn't be shielded from the outside. Um, I have what it takes to soundproof these walls. It's easy. I can you can just get foam or uh, I can use furniture pads. I have millions of those, so I can start nailing up furniture pads all around this room, and I would cover the windows and everything to make sure that nothing got in from the outside. And um, that's why sound booths are soundproof, is to keep all of that outside noise out. You want the recording by itself, that is all. That's what gives you that good quality sound and when you hear uh, music, you, you understand that you're getting a good quality uh, recording. I have listened to Drake, Lil Wayne, um, Eminem, Dr. Dre, and all the rest of them. Ice Cube, all of them. You see this says professional. These are professional headphones, okay? Not that crap uh, that they sell on the mass market for everybody, that they overcharge you for. These, this is a professional set of headphones that cost me 129 bucks. Um, the, the other ones that I showed you earlier.